Here comes trouble. I ain't dog. Well, <laughs> I just wanted to sum up what I was talking about as far as the uh, pure Cambridge edition is concerned, or where that's concerned. Right here. Do you want to talk about that? Oh. Anyway, um, if people have a pure Cambridge edition, I think that's wonderful. That is God's word. If it doesn't change any meaning or anything in 1900, I kind of wonder who did that though, as far as 1900s. But I get really leery and suspect of anything that comes after the 1900s, even the 1880s, because that's when the Westcott and Hort had a little thing, you know, with their version. My dog's winking at me. So I'm kind of very leery of that kind of stuff. So I don't think there's anything wrong with the 1769. It's fine. Um, the, the corrections that uh, Matthew for sure was talking about it needed it doesn't need because when you correct the, especially when it says the Spirit with a capital S, why would you do that? That's God, the Spirit, and Holy Father, Holy God. Um, sorry, now um, the Holy Spirit, uh, the, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, all should be capitalized. I think it's more like a thing on a play of words, like Hosea, and Hosea Osi was is also his name Osi, you know. Uh, Joshua's name was Hoshe, but Moses called him Joshua. Jeremiah's name in the New Testament in Matthew two seventeen or two sixteen was called Jeremy. Okay, it's like calling somebody whose name is Thomas Tommy it's still the same name but it's a short form form of it um, calling William Bill you know or something like that or Brad Bradley Brad or something like that you know if we uniform standardize it to be uniform then uh, Jeremiah would be Jeremiah even though where it says Jeremy you know so why keep messing with things like that? And like I said with a kink worm, it spoileth. So evidently, if it fleeth away, it must be still in a worm form. But if it flieth away, then it is an adult male with wings. So therefore it flieth away. And Sheba, or Sheba, I call uh, my hometown of Manning, I call it Manning and Manning. Okay, Manning is the proper name, but the name I call it, even though I wouldn't spell it this way, is Manning, like it's M-A-N-N-I-N, even though it has a G, okay? That's not the way I would spell it, but that's the way I say it, say it. okay? So it's the same thing with like this town here, Etawa. Some people, it sounds, it sounds like they're saying Etawa. You know, some people say Etowa. It's like Etowa. Or some, I've heard some people say Etowa. Etowa? But if you're from Etowa, you don't say it as Etowa. You say it's Etowa. But people who don't know the name of the town might say it's Etowa or Etowa. You know? There's a, um, a county in Alabama called Etowa County. There's another town with the same name in Georgia, Etowa, Georgia. I think it's Etowa, Georgia. They don't say it as Etowa. They say Etowa. You know? It's like saying Maryville, Maryville. It's still the same name. It's spelled the same, but you say it differently. So, therefore, should we change those things? That would change who we are as Southerners. Right? So, why should we change it? It's still spelled the same way. Or you know it was spelled differently. Like my name, like I was talking about my name. Holiday. Spelled with an A. <laughs> you zoned out. <laughs> you zoned out, buddy. It's, it's spelled with an A. But, if people spell it with an I, I know who they're talking about. Like, like the schedule, my work schedule... They have on their holiday with an I. 
I, we all know who Holiday is. I'm Holiday. Butch Holiday. Okay. Um, I get crazy about that sometimes. Spelling my name properly as it is on my birth certificate. But here's an amazing thing. <laughs> my dad's birth certificate has an I on it. So his legal name was spelled with an I on his birth certificate, that is. But even though he spelled his name with an A. Isn't that something? Over there to me in Sumter, South Carolina, where it, when it was to me, they spelled it with an I, not with an A. But I got cousins who have their name as I and not with A's. Even though we're directly related and have the same ancestors who have their name as Holiday. Like with Doc Holiday, it was the same thing. He came from the same line of ancestors I did. Um, but he spelled his name with an I, while I spelled my name with an A. Of course, he was a hundred plus some odd years before me, but, you know, anyway. So, why should we change the Bible to reflect <clears throat> what somebody says it should be? You know, I believe that the pure camera tradition is God's word. If people want that for themselves, that's fine. <laughs> you know, that's fine. But to say it is God's addition to all men who, who love the King James ver Version of the Bible, uh, he wants us to have that. And that's a, his addition for us. I, I don't know if that's correct because there are a lot of people that say that God wants us to have this, that, and the other. God told me you should have this. God told me you should have that. You know, and he wants this for you. He wants that for you. Well, the only, between, the only person, the only, you shouldn't have an intermediary. Is that the right word? Intermediary person saying, well, God wants you to have this. God wants you to have that. You and the Lord God should reckon that between yourselves if he wants you to have a thing or not. You shouldn't have a man telling you that God wants you to have that Bible or this Bible or what have you or that job or this job. You and the Lord go into your closet and you pray about it. You see what God wants for you. You shouldn't need not that any man teach you as John says <laughs> he's about to fall asleep <laughs> I guess my talking it just kind of makes him sleepy or something I wonder if it does the same for you but anyway having an authorized version Bible 16, 1769 the Blaney edition is what we currently have now there's nothing wrong with that you know and uh but then somebody says, well, spirit should be this way in the in capital, uh, lowercase this instead of capital. I, I, don't, I don't agree with that 100% at all. I think when it refers to the spirit, the spirit, the definite article, the spirit of God, capital S, you know. And the fleeth and the flieth thing doesn't really matter because whether it a flees, gets out of the way, or whether it flies, it, it does both. King of Worms do both because he goes from one stage to another. He goes from a worm to a moth that flies, adult male. So um, I don't think that matters, you know, as, as inconsequential. Um, but to say that it's God's addition for man, and when Matthew for sure says that, I don't believe that. Um, but I don't doubt his faith. I don't doubt he loves the authorized version. I don't doubt he loves the Lord Jesus. I don't doubt he loves the King James Bible. But to say that somebody said that God said that I should have this or that or the other, um, I'm a bite being as Berean. I got to find out if those things be so. I got to read it for myself, you know. But that's not to say I wouldn't want a pure, um, pure camera tradition in 1900. But I'm just really leery of that because. Um, the ASV that came out at the revised version, you know, and whether you say a name a certain way or that way or this way or another, or the spelling of that name, it's all throughout the Bible, Old Testament, New Testament. Um, some things are said differently than what they say in Old Testament. Some of the Gospels are kind of about the same thing, but they don't say it verbatim, word for word. Well, the other gospel said, if that were the fact, they only would need one gospel, but instead we have four gospels. We had Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And John doesn't say all the, what the other three gospels say. You know, Isaiah 61, the Lord Jesus said something different than what Isaiah said. 
whenever, you know, it was um, quoting scripture, his own words, God's own words, the Lord Jesus said his words that were in the Bible, okay, as opposed to what John, what Isaiah said in Isaiah 61. So that's something to think about. And I just wanted to sum all that up. No matter what I do, it's going to take over 10 minutes for this video. <laughs> and um, uh, one person says one thing one way. Another person says another thing a different way. Um, as long as the meaning and intent is there, it's not changed. As far as the Bible is concerned, there's no problem with that. You know? You see it in the Gospels. Like, again, you see it with Isaiah 61. Whenever the Lord quotes the scripture um, by his spirit that he wrote, he, he inspired men with anyway just want to get that out there I hope you get what I mean and um yeah tell them I heard say bye bye